Greetings and salutations, YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, the Thrift God. And today, I am showing y'all my entire vintage snapback collection. So snapbacks are what got me into vintage in the first place when I started this YouTube journey in 2012. 11 years ago, all I was searching for was vintage snapbacks. It got me into vintage. I wanted to look like Tyga, Big Sean, and have all types of crazy vintage snapbacks on my head. And the only places I could find them were the thrift store. So I picked up a camera, I started recording, and 11 years later, this is what I do full time. So I truly do have an affection for vintage snapbacks. And right next to me is a table that is covered in my entire 140 plus vintage snapback collection. These are all hats that either have significant meaning to me, my background, my personal life, or I just think they look very cool or they're just one of those unique hats from the 90s that also do have a historic and both really visually sick appeal to them. So I'm gonna go through all the hats in no particular order, but I'm gonna try and break down little sections of speciality, if you will, and just show you guys some of the cool things that I have. Now I'm doing this collection video as a lead up for a huge vintage snapback live stream that I am doing on whatnot. So I also am gonna be selling over a hundred vintage snapbacks this Saturday. I'm gonna put the date on screen. So if you guys are watching the video after this date, it is what it is. But the Saturday after this video originally releases, I'm selling over a hundred plus vintage snapbacks that I've been collecting for years. Some of which I had in my personal collection, a lot of which were very pancaked and I restored all of them for you guys. So definitely click the link in the video description to create a whatnot account. You'll get $15 off your first purchase on the app. It basically is a place where I auction everything starting at a dollar and people will either run it up or get steals and deals on the app. My username on whatnot is thrift God. So I will catch you guys this Saturday if you are interested. Now with that being said, let's crack into my very first ever vintage snapback. And I actually received this as a kid. All right. So I was the youngest boy on my dad's side of the family for the longest time. So I had two older cousins and they'd have all the crazy 90s gear. I was born in 93. And so by the time they outgrew it or their style changed or whatever the case may be, I got all their fire hand-me-downs. So I received this University of Texas Longhorns, top of the world, vintage snapback as a kid, this thing was smashed. It has the double colored snaps, which is very cool. And this is the first snapback I ever restored when I was like a senior in high school. So, so I got this gifted to me. It is an absolute firecracker. And what's really cool about this guy is the majority of my family went to the University of Texas. Bro, we bleed burnt orange. I thought my older sisters would go there. My parents went there. My sisters did not. It's the only place I applied and I went there. So this hat definitely was like destiny given to me as a child. And it is the first snapback I ever got. Now, my two favorite snapbacks are one is on head right now. It is this Dallas Cowboys sports specialties script. All right, and the reason why this is my favorite star on the side, turf green under bill, sports specialty tag, is because this is just a classic hat. It's not too loud, not too crazy. You can literally match it with just about anything, and it is my favorite NFL team. Now, speaking of scripts, my second favorite vintage snapback, I actually bought this on eBay for $40 a few years ago, probably in like 2016. It is the Houston Oilers a Black Dome with the beautiful baby kind of powder blue brim. Again, sports specialties. And it also does have that never ending class and timeless look to it. So that is why I love it. And yeah, I'm from H-Town. So you got to represent in style. Now the five hats that I first found when searching for vintage snapbacks are what I'm going to start off or I guess continue with showing off in terms of my collection. I have this Houston Rockets Magic Johnson Vintage Snap. I found all of these for $5 in an antique store in Texas City, Tejas, baby. And this is a crazy hat. You guys can see just by looking at it. Hopefully the camera isn't doing any overly weird activities with the autofocus, but it is what it will be. Um, this is pretty much gonna be a one cut 
one clip video. But yeah, fire hat, I picked this one up. I also found this in a bin at the same store. It is the Shatter by Starter NFL Pro Line Dallas Cowboys snapback. Boom. So when I found these hats, I was like, no way. Because I've been searching for months at Goodwills and local thrift stores. And man, when I found all of these local and Dallas snaps, I was crazy. I was like, this is everything I want and then some. So you got the Clutch City 1994 champion snapback and all these I did have to restore. I also found the Super Bowl 30 Dallas Cowboys heavily embroidered classic bro this is like between a brown and a maroon on the brim it is crazy the thread count is absolutely extravagant so I was very enticed by that then I found the 1995 Houston Rockets again with absurd embroidery all up on it yes indeed and i remember i bought like three snaps because i didn't have my bread up at the time dude i just got out of high school i didn't have too much money by any means i was getting paid seven dollars and 25 cents minimum wage an hour which was nuts so bro i bought three snaps and left the rest and then went back and luckily no one else was pillaging that small time antique store but uh yeah this dallas cowboys hat also was a classic just look how sexy it is it got all the back embroidery we are them boys green under brim yes sir indeed okay next up we're going to get into some of my houston collection um which will be houston oilers the team that no longer exists i got this vintage the game snap back at a garage sale for 25 cents i remember it because i was like man this is the first Oilers snap i ever found and yeah it just has significant meaning to me you also have this beauty which has a stupid amount of stitching on the side back and front so yeah you truly can wear this from every angle except this one right here i also love the starter pinstriped oilers two-tone with the red brim gorgeous got the oil derrick and then the starter on the back you pretty much have the same damn thing but this is logo seven it also doesn't fit quite as good i'm gonna be real boom back hit with the helmet that's crazy now anytime i find a snapback that's dead stock it always makes me not want to rock it because just cutting off the tags feels like i'm taking either the virginity or part of the soul from the hat so this is an absolute banger apex the coaches were wearing these apex snapbacks back in the 90s and the jackets which was fire bruh like you had elderly white individuals just dripped all the way out on the sidelines shit was nuts all right then i have the firework this is another ebay scoop i got for i think 30 bucks bro this was dead stock i clipped the tags expeditiously because i knew i wanted to rock this the black domes are so clean and the design is divine let's keep it a stack now i traded for this bad boy and i threw some money on top oh my lord kind of got that graffiti side hit on it i don't remember what the exact terminology for this cut of snap is but this ish is hard forward and backward and it does have the black red blue and white now i got this plain logo houston oilers snap now i haven't worn this as much as i thought so i am going to sell this during the snapback live this saturday so you guys if y'all want this houston oilers hat definitely tune in this banger i paid up for dude i think i paid 80 dollars this is a dead stock houston rockets 90s sports specialties snap in the Houston Oilers colorway, bro. Have you guys ever seen this ish? I don't even know if this would be valued at. Like some of these hats are worth around two, 250 to 400, 400 dollars ish. It even got the tag on the underbill right there. This is nuts. So yeah, I was uh, more than elated to get this for 80 bucks. I don't know if I ever can undes it. I do want to rock it, but it's just again, it's almost a shame, bro. It's like killing a unicorn with a bomb. Now I have a big logo Florida Panthers snap that I just want to show off. This is another crazy pickup. I like Florida Panthers gear, so I wanted a hat. I thought I'd wear this on my gardening channel, but bro, this is too clean for me to just sweat profusely in. Big logo. Now getting into my splash collection. Bro, we are them boys. Black Dome Dallas Cowboys splash. Hopefully my camera does not tweak and it is pulsating. That is very annoying. This snap is definitely cool. This is like a classic 90s look in my humble opinion. I also have 
the Dallas Cowboys splish splash white dome as well which is crispy and then this was dead stock bro the sauce and like a dolphin approaching with caution no one can tell me anything different this is one of the cleanest colorways in all of pro sports bruh a freaking seafaring mammalian is in concussion protocol pro line on the back green underbill classic man then this was also a snapback from my cousin. I got this in the past year. He gave me a bag of just smashed and degraded vintage snapbacks. I did rasterize this guy. The Houston Pocket Rockets splash. Why? 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 Tell me why. So then next up, I have the Race Rock Vintage Snapback right here. This dude is just a crispy one. I love rocking with all my NASCAR fits. So of course, I found it live in the Trift. So I gotta rock that all the time. Now I found this UT snapback beat to hell. I tried to restore it. I found it in Salvation Army for like a dollar in 2014 or 15. And dude, there was no bringing back the amount of fadedness in this. And the orange is not truly a burnt orange at all. I wear this when I garden though, so I get more than my fair share of use and I can abuse this hat and not feel bad about it. So I love having this UT splash in the personnel. Now this double shark tooth is nuts. It is the Olympics 1996. The two-tone embroidery on the double shark sets it apart. It is that logo athletic. And then bruh, hook them baby. Black dome. Are you joking me? Staring into the night sky with the burnt orange. Guys, this one is so crispy. It got the cardboard on the inside still. I love the fit and look at this hat. I was very happy to get this on eBay as well for I think 20-ish bucks. Bro, back in the day I was sniping. I wish I could relive those times. But again, another free 99 scoop from my cousin, the Houston Rockets Logo Athletic Shark Tooth. Look at that. This is so crispy. Logo Athletic hit on the back. Oh, no, wait, this wasn't from my cousin. I'm lying. I found this in the thrift, bro, and I never dropped that video. I got that for $2.25. But um, let me see where it's at. Oh, it's right here. Dude, I misremembered. I misrepresented my memories. This is the shark tooth I got from my cousin. I actually have not rasterized this guy. I threw in a nice little button on the side just to truly activate its potential. And uh, yeah, it was chewed up by some type of dog, and it's abused past but hands down i think my favorite thrift find in terms of snapbacks this is up there bro this is like a 250 dollars snap easily it is the tampa bay buccaneers vintage shark tooth my dude is trying to pierce his tongue with the knife as fire as can be pro line on the back and i love this sherbert color scheme Bro, it gets no better. I'm not a Buccaneers fan, but I love the old school 90s logos. I love that colorway and I love Chartreuse. So that is everything and more and then some incorporated in a hat. Now next, this is my favorite University of Texas snapback. I do not care. It is the Longhorns Graffiti again by Top of the World. Bro, Top of the World was coming through with them insane designs back in the day. This is another one that you can rock forwards backwards or sideways either way all bases are covered your entire radius of your head will be absolutely swagalicious in that now next classic you have the university of texas wool script in this bish if you will now this hat i don't like wearing as much as like my cowboys and i just feel like the real estate of the lettering is just so small and insignificant that it just don't hit the same you dig and i also like the two tones so we also have the houston rockets script this is another one that i can't bring myself to get rid of but i wish it was two tonal man it's like the plain jane 100 percent wools i'm not the biggest fan of i like the differentiation and that's why i like this saucing like a damn dolphin. Another one, bruh. Another, Another one. one. Script. This is sports special ties. Now this feels like it has more wool incorporated than this one. So that's why I prefer the more wool tops, the wool domes, but hey, that hat's clean. Now getting into some random snaps and my Cowboys collection, I have this Detroit Vipers hockey snapback. 
insane colorway. Again, it qualifies with the two-tone brim and then the multicolored lettering as the tramp stamp on the back over the snaps. Stupid! Now I got this pinwheel design from my boy Lil Kinky Twist, Apex Dallas Cowboys. If you guys have been watching the NFL this season, New Era has been bringing back the pinwheel design. It has that crazy Western font embroidered on the derriere of the hat, which is cool. I also have a pretty big logo, Dallas Cowboys. I think Tupac might have had this hat. I could be wrong, but I know he was rocking a Dallas Cowboys hat in his past and that fat Dallas Cowboys embroidery. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like back in the day, they produced hats on a whole different level in terms of letting the threads just go crazy all over it. So this is a simple one right here, but it does have the side helmet, which is cool. And it does have a little back hit. And this one also I found in my first year of YouTube videography thrifting, okay? I got the Michael Irvin and Troy Aikman quarterback club. I found this at an antique store. They're charging 15 bucks and bro, back in the day, hey, that's two hours of work, man. They was tripping, but I still paid up and I'm glad that I did. It has the original cardboard that I put in it when I was doing the restoration. Bro, I remember underneath our stairs, we had like cardboard boxes for holidays and I would just scoop them, cut them up and restore hats with that cardboard. This was a recent acquisition. I think I am going to sell this dude. I have too many hats and it is the Dallas Cowboys Leather Dome. This is nuts. This will be a good one in the live. It's just when I see some of these hats, I know I don't give them the head time, pause, they deserve, so I need to let them go. Houston Astros, y'all know, gotta rep the hometown with it, boy. Simple golden logo. And then this one is the legendary mattress salesman, the Mattress Mac gallery furniture back hit saves you money. I know a lot of you guys are not from Houston who watch this, a lot of you guys are. Hey, Appreciate you guys, man. Shout out H-Town one time. But Mattress Mac is the most viral, commercial, fast-talking, slanging mattress and furniture-having individual in the city. This guy is old as hell, bets on the Houston teams every year, and when we won the World Series, my dude cashed all the way out. Now, this is just a very clean little Canadian hockey hat, but yeah, it just fits so good. I had to rock it, as was the case with this Seattle Seahawks snap, and this does remind me of the time when I lived in Washington with my boy, Jacob, so that has a nice little memory to me. And this hat, I found recently, like in the last couple of years, it is another top of the world. It is bugs dunking on the top of the frame. The design in and of itself is insane, and that's why I needed it. I actually might let this one go because it's been a year. I haven't thrown it on head yet. I'm not a fan of the St. Louis University Billikens, so this one I also might slang. I don't know though, when I find snaps in the thrift are so cheap, I have a hard time. Now this, beautiful Super Bowl hat I did purchase from the Helmy 47 Thrifts out in Houston and I love the color scheme on it. It was dead stock and so I had to get it. It's not specific to any team, which I do like sometimes to not have a team merchandise with every single item because I feel like when you're conflicting like teams with other teams, it clashes. You know all these unspoken rules of fashion that are kind of stupid, but at the same time, we try not to get roasted or judged by our peers with. Yeah, that, that kind of is, is in that neutral category, so none of that will occur, you dig? Next up, you got the Kamikaze Stolen Valor World War II Survivor Hat. Now, both of my grandfathers were in the Pacific campaign in World War II. One of my grandfathers, like, commandants, died by a kamikaze at the bottle bottle at the battle of okinawa so that does have some significance this hat i just love bro it is that roller coaster the world's of fun it is that timber wolf back hit on it bro the purple and red goes nuts this is another one i have had since i was in college the world cup 1994 i grew up playing soccer my entire life from age four to 18, I come from a soccer pedigree, bruh. All my female cousins were cold as hell. So just know, they made me the beast I was and am, because they would just dominate the shit out of me. They're like eight years older than me, just destroying me as a four-year-old. It was absolutely unfair. And they were all defenders, bruh, make it make sense. Next up, you got the Tommy Hilfiger orange bootleg snapback. 
So these are kind of my hats that aren't specific to any team. You got the Jesus Christ tribute snap in Espanol with Jesus right there posted up like a boss. So I like these snaps because I can rock them with any fit as I mentioned. This is a Brown Bears, you know, a little Ivy League, right? Brown is Ivy League and I threw in the Mickey pendant on the side, green underbill. I love having a nice brown snapback. I also have this Mighty Ducks snapback banger an absolute classic i had the wool one but this one just fits so much better and the wool one had all types of sweat in the uh the damn band that i just could not now another classic team is the orlando solar bears bro who combines khaki with purple who combines formality with grape bro stupid the color combo absolutely amazing i do have to say i like how fitteds are doing crazy combos now with the colors but back then that wasn't as common you dig i also have the sea world man we don't support you know capturing animals and making dorsal fins of killer whales flaccid but hey it is what it is it got two penguins on it this ish is fire and i do love going to aquariums regardless of everything that i just stated bro i love my fishes because fishes get you hella bitches, you dig? I also have the FUBU snap, which is nuts. An absolute banger, you feel me? I'm a FUBU boy for life, so I have to have that in the collection. Now, I grew up a San Antonio Spurs fan. My grandmother was from Seguin, Texas, right outside of San Antonio. So I'd always be with her in the summertime for a week or two during the NBA Finals when the Spurs were on their runs in the early 2000s. So yeah, that one is significant. I just like Native American imagery, Blackhawks, plain snapback with the darker gray, bolder gray underbrim. You joking me? And then I did live in Austin, Texas when I was in college. So the Austin Ice Bats is a team that no longer exists. The logo is goaded, bro. Like these fools will consume all types of mosquitoes. So dude, they're providing a service to the world. And it has the double snaps on the back. Y'all see that? Extra security. That is that attention to detail I love to see. Now I do have this plain logo, Houston Rockets, boom, boom. I have this Twins. This was an early acquisition in terms of vintage snapbacks in my thrifting career. And then I picked up this Lion King snapback. This is stupid. I paid like $80 for it. It is that boy Scar. It says I'm surrounded by idiots on the back. Crispy, but I have not worn this, man. So I think I'm gonna include this in the sales portion of the live. I hope I break even. I paid a ton of money for that, but that was in the height of the pandemic, so it is what it is. Now, I wanna get into five hats, that actually six hats that are really significant to me in my past. Number one, this is my grandfather's hat, man. As I mentioned, I had two grandfathers fight in World War II. I happen to be the youngest grandchild where I was on both sides of the family. So I was blessed by having older grandparents that really were of the greatest generation. So this is the Peleliu survivor. My grandfather fought at Peleliu, Okinawa and Saipan. That man survived it all. Absolute legend in my opinion. There's a photograph of all the landing craft. He drove a landing craft all blown up by a Japanese cannon and his was the only one on the beachhead that was not hit. Legend absolute legend so this is crazy man i have a bunch of other snapbacks that my grandfather had that i am gonna keep on ice that i'll never get rid of but that one not only looks cool it has a story which is nuts now this hat was my dad's okay so this was his 190 sports specialty snap that he actually had i did restore this dude he sweated in this so profusely i had to paint the stitching which i wish i wouldn't have done on the low but it is what it is it does look pretty clean in my opinion but yeah that was my dad's hat so you have to now this hat was my dad's father my grandfather on the other side of the family it is the bud light atlanta vintage snapback this was dead stock and look at this coca-cola pin on the back another olympic pin right here it is a starter snapback so this one i'm never going to get rid of it is absolutely crispy now i do have two hats that were also my father's actually this one was my father's but i uh i got this from him it is my high school man the lamarck cougars a 90s dynasty in terms of football yes indeed and i also found this lamarck 
you know, state champs 4A snapback in the thrift. So I had to grab this. It's that true hometown heat. So I'm from the Houston area, but my actual hometown is Lamarck, Texas, which is like 30 minutes away. Actually more like 45. It depends on traffic, bruh. Now I have this Lifer Bulldogs hat, which was also my grandfather's. Boom, small town in the Rio Grande Valley of like 4,000 people if I am correct. So shout out anybody who knows where Lyford, Texas is. I fucks with you. Now I also have this Gulf Greyhound Park, which was the gambling dog racing operation in my hometown where a lot of people worked in high school. They would be in them kennels cleaning dog shits. So uh, yeah, kind of hilarious to find this hat and I just had to keep it off the memories. So this video is already long and I apologize if I'm talking too much, but hey, you guys are here for me. Smash the like button. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. I also have this Super Bowl Dallas Cowboys back to back logo seven snap very very crispy y'all know what time it is i also have another one another from one. the exact same super bowl that a fan i don't i don't even want to say fan bro you guys are supporters y'all are actually family so i really do appreciate you guys and this was a blessing uh i also have this georgetown hoyas tisa snapback all it is is a vintage snap with some extra embroidery now hands down the best logo of 90s NBA teams, besides the Raptors, would be the Charlotte Hornets. Nothing like athletic insects. I have this Hornets snap as well, which is crazy. Aquaberry color scheme. And this logo is nuts. I like anything that has my initial on it. So it is that Portland Sea Dog. That boy biting on the bat. And y'all know, I'm a Ford boy as well. So two tonal Ford, Ford by four. Did I say four to by four? I did. Racing Stupid. snap. And then these are kind of some of my outdoor activity snapbacks. You got the Strawberry Festival, Plant City, Florida. I recently picked up the Fishes Get You Hella Bishes Ranger Boats snapback. This is on a K Products snap, which is highly touted, lauded, and valued. I do have the Pink Panther about to pull up and just blow the block down with firearms. So that's cool. And then I have some Chicago Heat. Y'all know the classic Chicago Bulls 1996 NBA champs snapback. Crazy shockwave, boy. I know y'all see this. Somebody also blessed me with this. Shout out to you. This is one of my favorite snapbacks. No lie. This is probably in the top 10, man. I wish it did not have that Velcro on the back, but Starter was straight tweaking on this. It is very cool, and Velcro is you know, astronaut technology derived from plant inspiration. Now I have this Chicago Bulls, bam, shatter. Nice little lightning, crazy back hit. I love this hat as well. And then I got this bootleg freaking NBA times Looney Tunes Chicago Bulls snap that is embroidered on the brim. It is dumb the amount of threads in here. It looks like this guy is playing basketball with a broken arm in a cast. This one was nutty. I paid up for this 70 bucks. Man, I hate to do that, but some hats you gotta, you know, you gotta shell over some shillings for, if you will. This is also in my top 10 most worn snapbacks. 94 Winston Cup champ Race Hale. Praise Dale is senior baby. That NASCAR fast car, the Jordan vintage snapback. Uh, with a Nike back hit. Oh, with a Nike back hit. Now this hat also does have special meaning to me. Not that it really ties in to, I guess, my background too, too much. Aside from the fact that what makes this hat special is my grandfather mailed this hat in an envelope, which is the sin of all sins. Do not, do not mail snapbacks ever in envelopes. Never do it, bruh. That is on the thrift, Commandments. It says thou shalt never mail snapbacks and envelopes, but he wrapped it in a damn rubber band right here and somehow that preserved the shape of this perfectly. So my grandfather pulled off the ultimate mailing maneuver. He is the one exception to the rule. God rest his soul, man. He's in heaven smiling down on the dome shape of this snapback right now because he knew how to do it. Who would have thought to put a rubber band on a brim to mail something? And he left the brim with the perfect curve. That's why I can never let this hat go. My grandfather went crazy on it. He's fast. Okay, next you got the Dos Equis. This is my favorite beer. I don't really promote drinking alcohol in excess, but when I drink, I drink Dos Equis. I also have a couple 
of biker snaps. Now the homie blessed me with this in Orlando, Florida, pulled up on me and Jacob and blessed us with these biker snapbacks. I threw in this space little button on the side, which makes no sense, like in relation to the theme of this hat, but whatever, dude, don't judge me. I got this Harley snapback recently that I, I think I might sell, bro, because I ain't never worn it yet. I never have worn it yet, so I'm probably gonna sell it. Then you got the DEA Austin, bro. I love looking like a federal agent while I also dress very immaturely at times. But at this point in my life and age, I can really start looking like I'm the police when I'm not, so get you out of tickets, all right? Next up, you got the 1994 NBA Finals Snapback, Dead Stock. This is the one I was talking about. I found this in Goodwill. As you guys recall, my cousin blessed me with the same hat, but chewed up by a dog. That's the one I wear. I also found this Dead Stock Beauty in Goodwill as well. Still have the Goodwill tag on it of $2.99. And I found this Dead Stock Bad Boy, which you guys already saw. Now I also have this Dead Stock Rockets. I don't even know what you call this, bro. This is like a swirl, bro. It's like a toilet flush. You feel me? Except it's not shitty, but it's the shit though. Houston Rocket Snap. And then this one is straight dumb. Watch this, guys. Y'all ain't never seen this, bro. Some bored engineer and or electrician went off on this. I gotta show y'all, man. Are you freaking kidding me? This hat lights up. It has the biggest Duracell battery in it. Look at that battery. Can y'all see that? And it does have this little optic protection device. It is dead stock. I'll probably never wear this hat, but this is just a wild one, okay? The tech, unreal. Oh, unreal. Now moving on, crazy Houston Oilers snap as well. This one is by AJD, nice lower profile. Also Ford Racing, NASCAR, real tree. I am a Ford boy. And then, as I mentioned, my soccer pass. This Adidas snap is nuts. Look at the Adidas back hit on it. It does have that Germanic flag. My grandmama was German. She had red hair, straight crispy. When she got old, it turned all white. Bro, looked like snow on her skull cap. I also got this painter's hat, man. I got in an eBay quarrel with the individual who freaking, in a quibble, if you will, with the individual who mailed this in an envelope. I was like, bro, you disrespected the hat. He was like, it was flat already. I'm like, bro, I don't wanna hear it, man. If I have a hat that's built like this, I want it shipped in a box, regardless. Now my favorite hat to do gardening and yard work in, and probably one of my top 10 worn hats, let's be real, is this Arizona Diamondbacks. Another cool colorway, it just fits so good. Okay. Thank you guys for sticking with me to this point. My camera shows I've been talking for 26 minutes. That's wild. But we have the I Hate a Goofy especially pinwheel. My dude is breakdancing on the back. Very nice. I also have the Ken Griffey Jr. Now having all red hats definitely does kind of look like Trump merchandise, so it is a little dicey to rock that. Um, and I don't care who y'all vote for, that's a true statement regardless, all right? Next up, I have the Home Improvement Snapback. Now this is one of the craziest snaps. It does kind of have a denim-esque brim, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on my snapback live that is upcoming. I also sell hella gear on my website, which is thrifthavenvintage.com. That is where previously I've sold all my snapbacks and I probably will after this live. So you guys definitely follow that Instagram and my Instagram if you wanna see how I rock hats. I have a picture rocking this bad boy on my IG, okay? Now these are crazy like truckers and big dome kind of early 90s and 80s hats. This is that crazy Fresh Prince design. You have another one that I got for 25 cents at the garage sale. I got my first Oilers snapback at. The Team Ink hat, I've had these snapbacks since like 2013. Now, these are some crazy truckers, bro. I got that shit head with the fuming pile of feces sitting atop a drip fest of piss. The three stripes on the side. Now, truckers, I'm not the biggest fan on how they fit on head, but bro, these are so cool. I mean, look at this. You got bird shit on this brim as well. I threw in the Von Dutch pen just to accent it. And then the Detroit bad boys, just a part of NBA lore and history. This one, I'm so glad to have. I also really like my Space Camp 
snapped because you know there was that one camp goer who did have that LSD on him and was tripping out in like the Kennedy Space Center or Space Center Houston, just straight wiling on that summer experience. I also have the Miller Bass, get you hella ass, if you will, snap back. And I love the circus, baby. It has no type of uh, anti-flaciness, no type of erection in terms of the way it stands on head. Then I also have the Houston Oilers vintage trucker. This one is brand new with tags. The Puma, because they always send me shoes. So if I find something that says Puma on it, it's nice to match my kicks with. This is a crazy one I got at an estate sale. Look at like the anti-scrambled eggs, the Texas flag lightning bolts, and then you have the fighter jet and the eagle on top of it. Hey, that's a fighter pilot's worst nightmare, a giant bird. Great Reagan era slogans right here. Kids need hugs, not drugs. As long as the hugs are consensual and not from creepy ass adults. You also got the Texas City and Lamarck sailing hat right here. Again, that hometown heater extremely specific my neighbor pulled up on me in his corvette and was like hey i know you like old hats and jackets do you want this and i said boy do i bless me red horse man love it i also love that cock pause but also play because y'all know that <laughs> y'all know it that grit and steel that cock hat the california raisins nice ad campaign promoting dried grapes gotta respect it when it rains, it pours. Nice salt hat. Dallas Cowboys, baby. I think this is the 80s era. The US Air Force Chief. How could I pass on that graphic? And then you have the Houston Astros vintage trucker. The Puma corduroy snap. And last and not least, some like it hot. The golden nugget with a damn pepper encrusted brim. And guys, that is it. That is my entire vintage snapback collection. I have all the hats on the floor right now. Thank you guys for watching this entire video. If you made it to this point, tell me. I made it to the end for the win. Drop a W or just tell me in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite hats are that you own. And let me show y'all some that I need to restore. Look at this, NBC Sports needs to be cleaned up. I need to clean up this other shockwave hat. I need to restore this Oilers hat. My Rockets hat, ya dig? And then last and not least, I definitely need to restore this uh, Dallas Cowboys shark tooth while we are dominating. But please man, smash the like button. I gotta reorganize all these hats. It is an absolute mess right now. But yeah man, I'm extremely happy and pleased to have accrued all these snapbacks in my thrifting career that has been 11 and a half years at this point. I appreciate you guys for the long time support. And if you guys wanna tune into that whatnot stream where I am selling over 100 crazy vintage snapbacks, most of which I would personally rock and or they are from my collection in and of itself. Um, definitely tune into that as well because it most assuredly is going to go down. The link is in the video description. My username is Thrift God on whatnot and bookmark the show so you guys are notified when it drops. If you don't have a whatnot account, it is free to join. Click the link in my video description and you guys will save $15 off your first purchase on the app. So if you see anything from me or any other seller in general, if you buy it, you will get $15 off. So utilize that, man. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. As I mentioned, my website is always stocked as well. So if you guys don't have time to tune into my live streams, the website is always packing heat for extremely low prices, and that is thriftheavenvintage.com. My Instagram is thriftheavenvintage, and all the info you guys could possibly need in the world is in the video description. I gotta do some self promo, man, because that's what ultimately keeps the lights on, because YouTube be tripping sometimes with the paychecks, but nevertheless, I do this for the passion, for the love of the game, and I'm glad to still be in it. Peace, y'all. Until next time, I'm out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.